Good day, Grade 7! Today, we are going to start discussing Quarter 4 topics and we will begin with Quarter 4, Module 1, Locating Places Using a Coordinate System. Objectives Demonstrate how places on Earth may be located using coordinate system. At the end of this module, you are expected to 1. Differentiate latitude from longitude. 2. Describe the location of Philippines using latitude and longitude. 3. Use coordinate system in determining the location of different places. And 4. Manifest the values of obedience and sense of direction in everyday life. What I know. Choose the letter of the best answer. Write the letter of your choice on your answer sheet. See pages 2 to 3 of Quarter 4, Module 1. Before we discuss Quarter 4, Module 1, let us first have an overview about the Philippine environment. Everything that we see around us makes up our environment. So what makes up the Philippine environment? the landforms and bodies of water that make up the landscape, the mountains and valleys, rivers and seas, all of these are part of our environment. So here we have pictures of different landforms and bodies of water that are located in the Philippines. So in our country, we have mountains, we also have valleys, we have rivers, and we have seas. The climate, the rains brought by the monsoons, the warm humid weather that we frequently experience are also part of our Philippine environment. The Philippines have a hot tropical monsoon climate type which is formed in the archipelago with two main seasons, wet with a relative time frame from May to November and dry from November to April. Year-round weather characterized by high temperatures and a high level of relative humidity, which with the advent of summer months is virtually 100%. The natural resources that we make use of, every plant and animal that live around us, are also part of the Philippine environment. The Philippine environment is very rich in natural resources such as water, oil, forest, rocks, minerals, soils, and animals. All these things that we find in our surroundings and all the natural phenomena that we observe are not due to some random luck or accident. What makes up our environment is very much related to where our country is on the globe. The characteristics of our environment are determined by the location of the Philippines on the planet. Where is the Philippines? The Philippines is on Earth, of course, but where exactly is it located? To answer this question, you have to learn a new skill, locating places using latitude and longitude. Let us proceed with the definition of terms, Northern Hemisphere. It is the half of the Earth north of the equator. Southern Hemisphere is the half of the Earth south of the equator. So in this picture, this part of the Earth is called the Northern Hemisphere. So all of the places that are found north of the equator are in the Northern Hemisphere. Now, this part of the Earth is called the Southern Hemisphere. So, all places on Earth that are found to the south of the equator are in the Southern Hemisphere. Latitude, an imaginary line around the Earth parallel to the equator. Longitude, a measure of the relative position east or west on the Earth's surface given in degrees from a certain region. Latitude are the horizontal lines in your globe or world map. 
longitude are the vertical lines that are found in your globe or world map. Latitude are parallel to the equator. Longitude is parallel to the prime region. So in this picture, this is our equator. All the lines that are parallel to the equator are called latitude. Okay, next, this is the prime region. All lines that are parallel to the prime region are called your longitude. Equator, the great circle of the Earth with a latitude of zero degree, lying equidistant from the poles, dividing the northern and southern hemispheres. Prime region is the zero meridian used as a reference line from which longitude east and west is measured. It passes through Greenwich, England. So, in this picture, we will see that the equator is a line that divides the northern and southern hemispheres. It is located at latitude 0 degree, whereas the prime region is located at longitude 0 degree and it is used as a reference line from which longitude east or west is measured. International Date Line, IDL. It is located at 180 degrees longitude. It passes through the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is on the opposite side of the Earth to the Prime Region. It demarcates one calendar day from the next. This figure shows us the International Date Line. So the IDL is shown in red, continuous, and red broken lines. So, passing through the IDL will demarcate one calendar day from the next. If you're going to pass through the IDL going to the east, then you're going to add one day. If you're going to pass through the IDL going to the west, then you're going to subtract a day. On the opposite side of the international date line is the prime region. What's in? Roberto and Angelita, both grade 7 students, are standing at a major crossroads and facing north as shown below. They will visit different places in their hometown. Help them find out these places by determining the exact location relative to their position. Directions? Answer the questions that follow. A. Which place is to their east? B. Which place is to their west? C. Which place is to their south? D. Which place is to their northwest? And E. Which place is to their southeast? To answer these five questions, let us first recall the major directions and the secondary directions. So, if this is our north, then this will be the south, east, and the west. So, north, south, east, and west are your four major directions. Now, between north and east, we have northeast. Between north and west, we have northwest. Between south and east, we have southeast. And between south and west, we have southwest. Now, let us answer. Letter A, which place is to their east? So, the place to the east is the basketball court. Next, which place is to their west? So, to the west is the chipney station. Which place is to their south? To the south is the market. Which place is to their northwest? So, to their northwest is the river. Which place is to their southeast? So, in the southeast, we have the farm. What's new? Read the conversation of Roberto and Angelita who are planning to meet and to visit places around the province of Bulacan. Answer the guide questions and write it on a separate sheet of paper. Hello, Angelita. Are you already on your way? Mm, yes, Roberto. Be there in an hour. 
I'm here at M. Del Rosario Street, Longos, Pulilan, Bulacan. How about you? Currently at 14 degrees north and 120 degrees east. Did she say it correctly? Guide questions. Who answered postal address? Who answered global address? And number two, what do you think is the difference of those two addresses? Every place and location on earth has a global address. No matter what language people might speak, they can communicate about location because the address is in numbers. A global address is given as two numbers called coordinates. Using coordinate system points may be located by labeling them with numbers. The two numbers are a location's latitude number and its longitude number. In the conversation of Roberto and Angelita, both give their exact location. But Angelita's answer, which is 14 degrees north and 120 degrees east, is an example of global address, while Roberto's is an example of postal address. Let us now discuss how to locate places using a coordinate system. Latitude a numerical way to measure how far north or south of the equator a place is located is called latitude lines. They are also known as parallels of latitude because they run parallel to the equator. There are five lines of latitudes with special names listed in Table 1. So before we discuss those five lines of latitudes, let us take a look at our illustration. The line... Located at 0 degree latitude is your equator. All lines of latitude start from the equator. So, this line here is called 15 degrees north. The next line is 30 degrees north. Then we have 45 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 75 degrees north, and we have the 90 degrees north. So, in this place, the North Pole is located. Next, below the equator, we have 15 degrees south. Next, 30 degrees south. 45 degrees south. 60 degrees south. 75 degrees south. And at the very bottom, we have 90 degrees south. So, in this place, the South Pole is located. So, as you can see, all standard latitudes are 15 degrees apart. Table 1 shows the different parallels of latitude. At latitude 0 degree, we have the equator. At 23.5 degrees north, we have the Tropic of Cancer. At 23.5 degrees south, we have the Tropic of Capricorn. 66.5 degrees north is the Arctic Circle, and 66.5 degrees south is the Antarctic Circle. In this illustration, we will see where the parallels of latitude are located. At 0 degree latitude, we have the equator. So the equator is what divides the northern hemisphere from the southern hemisphere. Next, at 23.5 degrees north, we have the Tropic of Cancer. At 23.5 degrees south, we have the Tropic of Capricorn. At 66.5 degrees north is the Arctic Circle. At 66.5 degrees south is the Antarctic Circle. So, let us uh, be reminded that at 90 degrees north, we have the North Pole. And at 90 degrees south, we have the South Pole. Guide question 3. Can you now describe each line of latitude in terms of location? So let's take a look at figure number 1. Equator is located at 0 degree latitude. Tropic of Cancer is at 23.5 degrees north. Tropic of Capricorn is at 23.5 degrees south. The Arctic Circle is located at 66.5 degrees north. 
The Antarctic Circle is located at 66.5 degrees south. The North Pole is found at 90 degrees north. And the South Pole is located at 90 degrees south. The starting point for measuring latitude is the equator. It is marked as 0 degree latitude. Remember that the number of latitude degrees will be larger the farther away from the equator the place is located, all the way up to 90 degrees latitude at the poles. Latitude locations are given as degrees north or degrees south. So let's take a look at our illustration. Latitude 0 degree is your equator, so all lines of latitude start from the equator. To the north of the equator, we have these lines of latitude and they are marked with numbers followed by a degree sign and a big letter N symbolizing north because they are found in the northern hemisphere. So the first line to the north of the equator is 15 degrees north. Next, we have 30 degrees north, 45 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 75 degrees north, and 90 degrees north. Next, to the south of the equator, we have the first line of latitude and it is uh, labeled as 15 degrees south. Next, we have 30 degrees south, 45 degrees south, 60 degrees south. 75 degrees south and 90 degrees south. The part of the world between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is called the tropics. Countries in this zone are called tropical and with annual average temperature above 18 degrees Celsius. So if we are going to look at our illustration, here is our equator. This is our Tropic of Cancer. And this is our Tropic of Capricorn. Areas that are found between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn are called the tropics. So this is our tropical zone. So countries that are located in the tropics experience an annual average temperature of above 18 degrees Celsius. And in these areas, they only have two seasons, wet and dry. On the other hand, the areas within the Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle are called polar regions or frigid zones, with temperatures that never go above 10 degrees Celsius. So in the illustration, here is our Arctic Circle and our Antarctic Circle. So, areas that are within the Arctic Circle and the Antarctic Circle are called the polar regions or frigid zones. So, in these places, it is very, very cold. The temperature never go above 10 degrees Celsius. And they have two seasons. So, we have winter and summer. Northern temperate zone is between Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle, while Southern temperate zone is between Tropic of Capricorn and Antarctic Circle. Winter, spring, summer, and autumn are the four seasons in these zones. So in this picture, this is the Tropic of Cancer and this is the Arctic Circle. So, the areas or places that are between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle are called the Northern Temperate Zone. Next, this is our Tropic of Capricorn and this is the Antarctic Circle. So, the areas that are found between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle are called the Southern Temperate Zone. So in the Temperate Zone, they have four seasons. They experience winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Longitude Longitude lines are a numerical way to show or measure how far a location is east or west of a universal vertical line called the prime region. 
the primary region is at 0 degree longitude. Longitude locations are given as degrees east or degrees west. So in this illustration, we can see that the first standard meridian is the prime region. So the prime region is located at 0 degree longitude. So all lines of longitude start from the prime region. To the right of the prime region, we have 15 degrees east, followed by 30 degrees east, 45 degrees east, 60 degrees east, and so on. So you can see that our uh, longitude are 15 degrees apart. Next, to the left of the prime region, we have 15 degrees west, 30 degrees west, 45 degrees west, 60 degrees west, 75 degrees west, and so on. So our lines of longitude are 15 degrees apart. Now, on the opposite side of the prime region, we have the 180 degrees longitude. And at 180 degrees longitude, remember in our previous slide, we mentioned that the international date line is located. Guide question 4. What is the reference line when determining longitude? So, in determining longitude, we use the prime region. The prime region is our reference line. All lines of longitude start from the prime region. Here are the steps in determining latitude and longitude coordinates on a map or globe. Number 1. Spot the location you are interested in. 2. Find the latitude and longitude markers. 3. Use a ruler to mark the latitude of your point and draw another line to mark the longitude of the point. 4. Estimate the latitude and longitude of your point. And 5. Put your measurements together to determine the coordinates. Take note that latitude is written first and must always include north or south of the equator. Longitude is written next and must always include east or west of the prime region. Let us try to identify the country given only the latitude and the longitude. So for number 1, 12.88 degrees north. 121.77 degrees east, 2, 35.86 degrees north, 104.20 degrees east, 3, 25.27 degrees south, 133.78 degrees east, number 4, 37.09 degrees north, 95.71 degrees west, number 5, 38.42 degrees south, and 63.62 degrees west. Before we answer our activity, let us first take a look at this world map. So, our world map are marked with lines. All horizontal lines are your latitude, and all vertical lines are your longitude. So, for our latitude, uh, the starting point is 0 degree latitude, and that is our equator. So, all lines of latitude start from the equator. To the north of the equator, the first line of latitude is 15 degrees north, 30 degrees north, 45 degrees north, 60 degrees north, 75 degrees north, and 90 degrees north. Now, to the south of the equator, we have 15 degrees south, 30 degrees south, 45 degrees south, 60 degrees south, 75, and 90 degrees south. Okay, so our lines of latitude are uh, spaced at 15 degrees apart. Now, for our vertical lines, our lines of longitude start at 0 degree longitude. So this is our prime meridian. So all lines of longitude start from the prime meridian. To the right of the prime meridian, the first line of longitude is 15 degrees east, followed by 30 degrees east. 45 degrees east, 60 degrees east, 75 degrees east, and so on. So, our lines of longitude are also 15 degrees apart. Next, 
to the left of the prime meridian, our first line of longitude is 15 degrees west, next 30 degrees west, 45, 60, 75 degrees west, and so on. Okay, so be sure to remember the markings at the sides so that we will be able to uh, locate places using latitude and longitude very easily. The first coordinate in our activity is latitude 12.88 degrees north and longitude 121.77 degrees east. So, para malaman natin kung anong country yung coordinate na ito, let us take a look first at the latitude. So, ang latitude natin ay makikita sa north. So, we will look for this line of latitude in the northern hemisphere sa ibabaw ng equator. Okay? Next, 12.88 degrees north. So, wala namang eksaktong number sa world map na 12.88 degrees, kaya tatansyahin natin kung nasan yung 12.88 degrees. So, we will look for that uh, particular line of latitude sa pagitan ng 15 degrees north and 0 degree latitude. Okay? So, tatansyahin natin kung saan yung 12.88, tas lalagyan natin siya ng lines. Yan. Okay. So, next, longitude, 121.77 degrees east. So, ang ating line of longitude ay matatagpuan to the east. Kaya, we will look for it sa uh, right side ng ating map. So, hahanapin natin yung line of longitude na to sa right side ng ating map to the east. Okay? Next, 121.77 degrees. So, wala rin eksaktong 121.77 degrees na number sa ating world map. Kaya, we will look for this number between 120 degrees east and 135 degrees east. So, lagyan ulit natin ang mark. Tatansyahin natin kung nasan yung 121.77 degrees. Ito siya. Yan. So, pag pinagsama natin yung dalawang lines na yan, ganito ang magiging itsura niya. Okay. So, let's take a look. So, latitude 12.88 degrees north. So, hinanap natin siya sa pagitan ng 0 degree latitude and 15 degrees north. Okay. Tapos, yung longitude, 121.77 degrees east. Hinanap natin siya sa pagitan ng 120 degrees east and 135 degrees east. So, look for the point of intersection. So, hanapin nyo kung saan mag-i-intersect yung dalawang linya natin, kung saan sila magtatagpo. Tapos, kung saan sila magtatagpo, yun yung country na hinahanap natin. So, saan bumagsak na country yung ating uh, mga coordinates. So, sa Philippines. So, this coordinate uh, is the coordinate of the Philippines. Let's have another example. Latitude 35.86 degrees north and longitude 104.20 degrees east. So, latitude muna tayo, north. So, we will look for it in the northern hemisphere sa ibabaw ng equator. Tapos, look for this line of latitude between... 30 degrees north and 45 degrees north. So, tatansyahin ulit natin kung nasan yung 35.86 degrees north. Tapos, lalagyan natin siya ng line. Yan. Tapos, let's go to longitude, 104.20 degrees east. So, we will look for it sa uh, east side ng ating world map. So, sa right side tayo maghahanap ng line of longitude. Tapos, look for it between 90 degrees north and 105 degrees east. Okay? So, tatansyahin ulit natin, lalagyan natin ng mark. Yan. Tapos, kung nasaan yung point of intersection ng dalawang lines natin, yun ang hinahanap nating country. So, uh, the point of intersection of these uh, two lines is China. So, yung country na to, na may ganito nga coordinate is China. Next, our third example, latitude 25.27 degrees south, longitude 133.78 degrees east. So, sa latitude muna tayo titingin, south. So, hahanapin natin yung ating line of latitude sa southern hemisphere sa ibaba ng equator. So, look for this line between 15 degrees south and 30 degrees south. 
So, dito natin siya hanapin. Tapos, lalagyan ulit natin siya ng markings. Lalagyan natin ng line. Yan. Okay. Next, let's go to longitude. 133.78 degrees east. So, hahanapin ko yung uh, line of longitude na to sa eastern side. So, sa right side ako ng world map titingin. So, look for it between 120 degrees east and 135 degrees east. Tapos, tansyahin ulit natin yung 133.78 degrees. Lalagyan natin ng line. Yan. So, saan? Saan yung ating point of intersection? So, sa nagtagpo yung dalawang lines natin? So, dito siya nagtagpo. So, itong uh, coordinates na to belongs to Australia. Okay? Next, another example. Latitude 37.09 degrees north and longitude 95.71 degrees west. So, north. So, sa northern hemisphere ako titingin sa ibabaw ng equator. Tapos, I will look for this line of latitude between 30 degrees north at saka 45 degrees north. Tapos, tatansyahin ko yung 37.09 degrees. Tapos, lalagyan ko ng line. Yan. And then, I will look for the longitude, 95.71 degrees west. So, dahil nakalagay dito ay west, I will look for it sa western side. So, sa left side ako ng world map titingin. Tapos, hahanapin ko yung 95.71 degrees between 90 degrees west, itong line na to, and 105 degrees west. So, tatansyahin ko yung 95.71 and lalagyan ko siya ng mark. Yan. So, saan nag-intersect yung dalawang line natin? Ano ang point of intersection? So, ang point of intersection ay yung bansang ito. And that country is the United States of America. So, yung coordinate natin na ito is uh, the coordinate of the United States of America. Okay, last example natin sa ating activity. Latitude, 38.42 degrees south. So, sa latitude, sabi sa south, So, sa southern hemisphere tayo maghahanap ng ating lines of latitude na to. Tapos, 38.42, look for it between 30 degrees south and 45 degrees south. Tapos, lagyan ulit natin ng line, tatansyahin natin kung nasan yung 38.42 degrees. Yan. So, mark it with a line. And then, we have longitude, 63.62 degrees west. So, Uh, sa western side ako ng world map titingin. So, sa left side. So, yung 63.62 degrees, hahanapin ko sa pagitan ng 60 degrees west and 75 degrees west. And then, uh, tatansyahin ko lang kung nasan yung 63.62 degrees and then mark it with a line. Yan. So, kung saan nag-intersect yung ating dalawang linya, yun yung country na hinahanap natin. At siya ay Argentina. So, uh, this coordinate is the coordinate of the country Argentina. So, for our activity, here are the answers. Number 1, Philippines. 2, China. 3, Australia. 4, United States. And 5, Argentina. Let us now discuss the different activities that you will answer in What's More. Independent Activity 1, frame it. Fill each blank with the correct answer. Use the words from the word bank. So, the words are coordinates, numbers, latitude, longitude, points. One way of locating places is by using blank. Coordinate system is a way of locating blank by labeling them with blank called coordinates. In a global address, the two numbers represent blank and blank. Independent Assessment 1, find all you can. Determine the places located on the following coordinates. Fill out the table below. So, in this graph, we have the x-axis labeled with numbers 1 to 8. And we have the y-axis labeled with numbers 1 to 8 also. And then, inside the graph are the different places. 
in independent assessment 1, you are going to fill in the missing information by analyzing and studying this graph. So, in the first column, we have place. Second column, the x-axis. And in the third column, the y-axis. So, for example, jeepney station. So, where is the jeepney station located? So, it's located at point 1 in the x-axis and point 3 in the y-axis. So, where is the jeepney station? Point 1 in the x-axis and point 3 in the y-axis. So, for the others, you are going to fill in the missing information. So, all of the answers can be derived from this graph. Independent Activity 2, name it to win it. Label the parts of the globe. So, you are going to label the names of the following lines. Independent Assessment 2, does it puzzle you? Solve the crossword puzzle. Use the clues provided below or the answers in Independent Activity 2 for additional clues. Across, number two, way of locating points. Three, extends from pole to pole. Five, 23.5 degrees south. Eight, starting point for longitude. Nine, zero degree latitude. And ten, 66.5 degrees south. Down, number one, 23.5 degrees north. Four, 90 degrees north. Six, parallel to the equator and 7, 66.5 degrees north. Independent Activity 3, that's an order. Arrange the following steps in determining latitude and longitude coordinates on a map or globe. Use capital letters A to E. Number 1, put your measurements together to determine the coordinates. 2, estimate the latitude and longitude of your point. 3, Spot the location you are interested in. 4. Use a ruler to mark the latitude of your point and draw another line to mark the longitude of the point. 5. Find the latitude and longitude markers. Independent Assessment 3. Around the globe. Directions. Locate the given places using coordinates of latitude and longitude. For independent assessment 3, fill out the table with correct coordinates. So in the second column, we are going to place here the latitude. And in the third column, we are going to place the longitude. So you are going to write the latitude in degrees and then north or south. The longitude would be written as degrees east or west. So let's take a look at our example. So the first is a star. So, nasa ng star natin dito sa ating globe? So, here is our star. So, to find the latitude, all we need to do is to look at the side. You will see that there is a marking at the side. So, it's 60 degrees. So, this is 60 degrees latitude. And since uh, the line is located to the north of the equator, then the direction is north. Kaya ang nakalagay dito sa ating uh, uh, latitude ay 60 degrees north. Now, for our longitude, our star is located between 100 degrees and 140 degrees. Now, our uh, line of longitude is located to the, to the left of the primary region. So, therefore, ang ating location ay west. So, sa pagitan ng 100 and 140, we have 120. So, yung ating star is located at 120 degrees west. Okay? Tapos, you're going to look for the coordinates of the following symbols. So, letter A, the X symbol, B, the plus, C, the heart, D, the square, and then E, the triangle. Okay? So, place the correct coordinates in their appropriate columns. After filling out the table, you need to answer number 2 up to 4. Number 2, where is Philippines located in the globe? So, write here the latitude and longitude. 3, what particular ocean is found in the east of the Philippines? 
And number four, among the special lines of latitude, where is Philippines near at? So, remember that we have five parallels of latitude. Equator, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle, and Antarctic Circle. So, for number four, the question is, where is the Philippines near at? Sa limang parallels of latitude na binanggit ko, saan pinakamalapit ang Philippines? What I have learned, obedience in following steps and procedures correctly is necessary to achieve correct results. Successful output greatly depends on the accuracy of the procedure. Based on the discussion, state how a place can be located using its latitude and longitude by accomplishing the language strategies form. Example, how to plot coordinates. First, I draw and label the X and Y axis. Second, I plot the coordinates X and Y. Third, I join points with straight lines to make a square. Fourth, I draw straight lines from corner to corner. Finally, I circle the point and note the coordinates of the point. So, you are going to state how a place can be located using its latitude and longitude by accomplishing this form. So, the title is Steps in Locating Places Using Coordinates. All you have to do is to enumerate the different steps that is needed to locate a place using coordinate system. What I can do? Sense of direction is the ability to know where you are or which way to go even when you are in an unfamiliar place. Heading the wrong path will be avoided if proper orientation is given beforehand. Thus, accuracy in providing information will improve sense of direction. To foster sense of direction, construct a map from your home to school. So, in this activity, you are instructed to construct a map from your home to school. So, you are going to draw in this part of your answer sheet. Assessment. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your answer sheet. See pages 16 to 17 of quarter 4, module 1. Additional activity, performance test number 4.1. The Philippines, which is often called the Pearl of the Orient Seas, is indeed a beautiful country blessed with bountiful natural resources. Directions, write a short description on how to travel around the Philippines using latitude and longitude coordinates. Highlight the reasons why many people use the tagline, it's more fun in the Philippines. Quarter 4, Module 1, Locating Places Using a Coordinate System. On your answer sheet, you need to have what I know, what's more, answer independent activities 1, 2, 3, independent assessments 1, 2, 3, what I have learned, what I can do, assessment, and the additional activities. The additional activities will be your performance task number 4.1 for Quarter 4, Module 1. If you are done with your answer sheet, upload your answer sheets in PDF format in your Google Drive folder. The path is Science 7, Quarter 4, Module 1. Or send them in JPEG format to my messenger. Thank you for attending our Science 7 online class. God bless you all.